uh, Brad Elner, and I've been involved with things with the Social Development Center since about June of 2004. Joined the board at that time. And have been uh, involved with all kinds of uh, projects and groups and it it's interesting i i th i think what it was is that my my background academically is in political science and i kind of sometimes tease people that i can turn anything into a policy question and who's looking at policy questions but but social development type of of things and i i think too there was probably an attraction to um Talk about issues from a people perspective. There really isn't much of that going on, too. There's so much um, where where stuff is being economically driven. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's not necessarily bothering to talk much about the people that are sort of in the way of that process. Really, yeah. I was I was first on the board. And then we got talking with some of the the older leaders of, of the disability community and they were saying there wasn't much younger generation around um, to uh, pass their their torch to mm -hmm. and we we had a meeting that KW Accessibility was involved with, with, um, eh, I want to talk about a name and it's gone now. The uh, Attorney General of the day that was, um, oh, uh, Michael Brandt, who had the story of himself when we eventually left politics again. But uh, they were bringing uh, in new changes around the uh, the human rights tribunal. So we had a meeting about that, and um, uh, Trudy, who uh, has this way of, of <laughs> having good thoughts about about issues, says it's all nice to have this, uh, this minister come and do his uh, dog and pony show. Mm. Uh, but then, then you got to talk about issues, and and indeed we did, and eventually, it, it was a group, as I say, originally of of, of older leaders, but we kept uh, meeting and wanting to meet, <laughs> and uh, eventually today, that's the Disability and Human Rights Group. And one of those older leaders in the disability community was, was James Huntsberger, who was briefly on our board, who was also on the board of the. Uh, Center for Disability Studies in Winnipeg. He was a good friend of their original executive director who was originally from our local area here, so there's lots of connection, but... Uh, and and um, I, think, I think it was more or less James's idea that we'd be involved with a, with a first study that, that we did with them. Um, and um, let's see, I was on a trip to Winnipeg in March of 2009, so that was one of the, one of the first things we did. And then, of course, and, and we've done three distinct projects with them, using their framework to talk about access sorts of issues and you know what we were the only ones that were doing it from the perspective of having assistance to do it otherwise it was groups of people just coming together as a as a group of people mm -hmm. do we want to do these sorts of things and they, and, and they were doing things like counts of the numbers of curb cuts and these sorts of things so in Smaller communities, I guess it's it's doable. On the other hand, it was a lot of responsibility, I'm sure, for for grassroots sorts of of groups. 
So I, I think that was that was an interesting point in terms of seeing where something like the Social Development Center could could fit in in terms of some of that um, institutional sense like the wrong word, but something more than just bringing people together, but supporting and and um, initializing and being able to do some of the, the legwork and the stuff around participating and. Um, just, just seeing how that that's different, um, because you no, know, and I think think that's something too. I've I've come across in thinking about the social development center. I probably have uh, enough background in things to come up with intelligent answers to lots of consultations mm -hmm. and lots of of thought. But if if you're going to do it completely yourself, you're you're rolling a pretty big snowball up a hill. Mm -hmm. um, and it just doesn't get done in that way. I, I remember, too, running across the reading as I was doing research years ago, um, talking about disability and thinking that um, if, uh, if, if people could organize, they probably weren't in, in, not in, in, in a... In a collective sort of sense, mm -hmm. they probably weren't disabled. So it really does mm -hmm. make, make it much easier for uh, uh, people with disabilities to, to voice their concerns, not because the concerns aren't real and can't be articulated, but because they, uh, they need a channel through which to do that, yeah. which the Social Development Center really provides. And in my experience, over and over again, notice again the policy questions yeah. and the people. So it all kind of <laughs> runs in a very <laughs> congruent kind of way. I, I, I think what it is, is trying again to get that people point of view. Because I don't mm -hmm. think people really understand mm -hmm. how easy it is to miss that. We were through the Social Development Center, one of the only social agency submissions to a building code review in 2011. So they're talking to developers and builders and all of these folks that are relevant folks to the question, except where are they talking to? People being, and particularly when you're talking about access stuff, you sort of either access it or you don't. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's sort of, there's all kinds of principles you can, you can build around that those are good things and it's good to talk to all of the parties involved, but somehow it gets forgotten somehow in ways that don't seem obvious to most that what you want to do is talk to actual people that are involved accessing stuff and saying, well, no, with the width of my wheelchair, I can't do that. Now, some of that is a lesson, too, because it's not about getting individual people certain ways. So there are certain wheelchairs because there aren't standard wheelchairs because there aren't standard people. Um, you're going to miss out on some, but you're going to, what you're trying to do is, is make access for as many people as possible mm -hmm. In, in your circumstance. So it's all very much a, a collective context that otherwise so easily gets forgotten. I suppose what it is is keep, keep thinking and keep um, uh, struggling with, with questions that are, are important to you. You stop asking questions and, and everything stops. That's a nice one. Anything else you'd like to add about Social Development Center, your time with the organization? Anything else? I'm not thinking so at this point. Thanks so much for this opportunity. Thanks, Brad. All right.